हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर मीनू सीएससी डिपार्टमेंट के आर मंगलम यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हैंडलिंग एक्सेप्शंस इन पाइथन फर्स्ट वी विल लर्न व्हाट आर द एक्सेप्शंस व्हाट आर एरर एंड व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द एरर एंड एक्सेप्शन एंड व्हाट इज द मकैनिज्म टू हैंडल द एक्सेप्शंस इन पाइथन सो in python we have two types of errors first is the syntax error and the second is the exceptions syntax errors are the errors or they are the problems they arise in the program due to which the program stop the execution on the other hand exceptions are raised when some internal event occur and which changes the normal flow of the program now let us see what is the difference between the error and the exception syntax error are nothing but but they are arises due to the wrong syntax in the code and it leads to the termination of the program here you can see some of the most common errors that occur in the python program misspelled reserved keywords if you are using some keyword and that has been misspelled your program will raise the error missing quotes you are missing the semicolon or the cal colon or some brackets in that case you will face the error missing required spaces missing operators invalid usage of blocks in case of if else and loops invalid variable declaration so these are some of the common exceptions uh, these are some of the common errors that might occur in your python program now we will learn about an exception what is an exception and what are the causes of exception so an exception is an event which occurs during the execution of a program and that disrupts the normal flow of program's instruction in general when a python script encounters a situation that it cannot cope with it raises an exception an exception is nothing but the python object that represent an error when a python scripts raises an exception it must either be handled appropriately otherwise your program will be terminated abnormally so these are the examples of some or these are the cases uh, where you can uh, you you may find the exception to occur so some in inbuilt in exceptions in python are reading a file that is not present that means if you are trying to read or write into a file and that file does not exist in that case you may face the exception trying to read data outside the available index of the list right for example you have a list and you have for example 0 1 2 this is the data of the list so the 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 index is up to 2 and you are trying to access the fourth index of the list or of the tuple in that case you may generate the exception dividing an integer value by 0 this will also cause the exception if you are making some mathematical errors that may lead to the generation of certain kind of exceptions we will be discussing these exception these classes in detail now these are some of the built in exception classes which are available in python exception is the main class exception is the main class and all these classes are the sub classes of the exception based class so we have few uh, exception classes index error index error is raised when the index of a sequence is out of range that means if you are using the wrong index in that case you will uh, you will be generating this exception key error raised when a key is not found in the dictionary 
in the dictionary we use key value pair you are trying to access some key which is not there so in that case the exception may be generated keyboard interrupt raised when the user hits the interrupt key memory error you are trying to allocate the memory but the memory is not available in that case memory error will occur or memory exception will occur name error raised when a variable is not found in a global or the local scope of your program you are trying to access a variable which you have not defined which you have not declared in that case the exception may be generated os error this will be raised when some system operation causes system related error so this will be caused by the operating system we do not have anything to do with the os error import error you are trying to import a library which is not you know which cannot be found by your system or by your program in that case import error will be generated overflow error this will be raised when the result of an arithmetic operation is too large to be represented os error we have already discussed run time error if your error does not fall in any of the categories specified in your program then the run time error may be generated syntax error syntax error is raised by the parser when the syntax error is encountered in your python program identification error because we do not use here the specified brackets curly brackets to define the boundary of the program we give identification if you will specify the the wrong identification in that case identification error or exception will be generated right so these are some of the exception classes built in exception classes in python which are available we can use these classes in our program we will see later the example various examples related to exception handling now we will see the python exception handling mechanism if the exception is there in your program how do we deal with that exception so for that we use try and accept statement in python so this is try block or try statement this is accept block try colon then under the try block we can write the code that may cause the exception so if we are not sure that this set of lines or these set of instructions may generate the exception in the future then we can write such code such instruction under the try keyword so this is your try block except except will run as soon as the exception is being generated the except block will be executed so code to run when exception will occur we have to write that what will happen if a particular kind of exception occur in your program so this is how we deal with the exception using try and accept blocks now this is a very simple example of exception handling using try and accept so in the try see we have these set of statements which may generate the exception so we have enclosed these statements into the try block here what we say is numerator value is 10 denominator value is 10 and then we have a variable result where we are storing the the result of 10 divided by 0 so this particular statement will be generating the exception because we cannot divide anything with a zero so here the zero division by zero exception will be raised and result here we are printing the result in the except we are dealing with the exception we are printing here or we are notifying the user that there is this particular exception has been generated in the program so in the except we are we are giving the print statement where we are telling the denominator cannot be zero so this will be your output for this program because we cannot divide anything with zero so division by zero or this particular statement which you are specifying here explicitly 
will be the result of the program. Now we will see it is not necessary that your program is generating only one kind of exception. There are statements or there can be statements in your program which may generate multiple exceptions in your program and here we are writing the specific you know specific accept statement which is catching a particular kind of exception. For example, here we have a variable even number which is storing some list. This is a list, right? Then we are printing the even number. And which index we are printing? We are printing the index number 5. So we have index 0, 1, 2, 3 right these four indexes we have now we are trying to access here the fifth index which is not there so this statement will be generating the exception so here in the exception in the accept statement we have written zero division error so whatever type of exception that is being generated by the try try statements will be matched with the accept statement so this is not the zero division by uh, zero division error. So this particular block will be left. Now we'll come to the another accept statement index error. Yes, this is the index error because we are using the wrong wrong index to access the the list element. So here the index error will be executed index out of bound. Now. Now we have here one more program where we are showing the concept of try and accept statement. We have a main function here def main. In the try block we have number 1 and number 2. We are taking user input by this input method. Enter two numbers. Now we are storing the result. In the result we are number 1 divided by number 2. So this statement in future might generate the exception not always but if the user is entering number 2 as 0 then the division by 0 or 0 division error exception will be generated here we are printing the result so this statement probably may generate our error so we are writing here multiple accept statement like 0 division error this will be executed when the number 2 entered by the user is 0. Syntax error. Syntax error exception will be raised when the user will make certain error while writing the syntax of the program. For example, the, the colon after try is missing. Okay, you are writing the wrong name for the input function. In that case, syntax error will be generated. And if the error is not of any type, it is not of zero division error, it is not syntax error, it is any other kind of error. In that case, this common accept statement will be executed which says something wrong in your program. Else no exception. If everything goes fine, we will go into the else part which will say no exceptions and finally block. Finally block, the finally clause is executed every time. So finally block is put at the end of the try and accept blocks. This make uh, every time you are running the program, the finally block has to be executed. So we write the code like we, if we, in case if we want to close certain system resources, some files we have opened during the program. So those common statements you may write under the finally block. So I'll show you the execution of this program in the Google Colab. See this are this was our first program. Try in the try we have put this set of lines which might generate exception. And then we have written here a common accept statement. We have not specified the type of exception being generated in the program. So here once we run this <coughs> particular code, we will receive the output denominator cannot be 0.
okay in the second program where we are you know uh, where we are uh, uh, we have a set of uh, list and we are trying to access the wrong index number of the list here we have specified two types of exception zero division error and index error so once we'll run this program you will see that index out of bound exception has been thrown by the program for example i'll change this value of index if i say this is 3 in that case you will observe that the accept statement will be skipped because we are accessing the current uh, correct list index in that case it will give you the correct output you can see here this is giving 8 as soon as I change it to 6 or 5 or anything which is not present there we will be seeing that this particular exception index error exception has been thrown by the program now we go back to the PPT again and we will see these uh, whatever we have learned till now they were the exception generated by the program automatically because the user is doing some mistake while writing the code in python program we can raise the exception manually also using the raise statement that is what we we are looking into this slide python programming exceptions are raised when error occur at runtime we can also manually raise exceptions using the raise keyword using this raise keyword we can manually generate the exception at a particular you know position in a program so we can optionally pass values to the exception to clarify why that exception was raised you can also give some parameter to clarify that what type of exception has been raised so that is totally up to you what parameter you are passing so here we have two statement one is using the raise keyword this is a keyword and this is the name of the exception keyboard interrupt so if you are going to try this line of code to be executed see here i've written raise keyboard interrupt so this will give the the common exception error which is thrown by your python interpreter right some keyboard interrupt is there right in the another statement i have passed the parameter this parameter this is an argument this i have passed right using the raise statement so here this will give the specific error see here this is giving the raise memory error that you have raised this memory error and this is the argument that you have passed so whatever you will be passing will be printed here in the error statement that what type of error it is you can write here the memory error is generated or something like that now we'll do one examples where we are raising the exception manually in the try block we have a variable a where we are taking the user input in this statement we are taking the user input enter the positive number if the user will enter the negative number or any number which is less than zero we have raised the exception raised is a keyword this is the value error name which i have given to this exception and the parameter being passed is the string is passed that the that is not a positive number so that this particular statement will be displayed if in case you are entering the negative value now in the accept statement accept value error this is the name of the exception as we this is the alias name i have given to the alias name given to the exception that means you can in place of value error you can also use ve to print your exception now again we will see this code running in the google collab 
Now see here the same code we have here. Now we will try to run this program. You will see it is asking for the user to enter a positive number. For example, I have entered 5 and press enter. So it will give nothing. It will print the value 5. Nothing else is being done. Now, if again I am running this program and I am entering minus 9, in this case, if the value is negative, we have raised the value error. So, accept statement will be executed, value error. As we, we are now using value error, the another name for value error is VE. Now, in the print statement, we are printing that what is the exception name, VE. So, here the whatever string you have passed in the value error will be printed. This is not a positive number. So, user will, user will get notified that he has to input the positive number only. Now, here we have one more program where we are using the we are generating the exception manually using the raise statement. Here we have a class age error, right? In a class we have init method, we have a string method, str method. In the init method we are specifying a message which takes age must be greater than 0. So, in this case if the age is less than 0, the, the program will generate the exception. We have this method. So, these two methods we have defined within the class. This string method is doing nothing but returning the error message. Whatever error message you are printing, right, it will return that error message somewhere and will print the string corresponding to this. So, in the try block, we are trying to input the age, right, enter age here. If, if age is less than 0, if it is less than 0, manually we are raising the exception raise age error. Age error because we have generated, now we are using a class to generate the exception, right. This age error is nothing but a class where we have specified the exception. Now, age must be greater than 0. This is the string we are passing, right. Now, in the else, if age is greater than 18, what will happen? It will give the print statement, you are eligible to vote. If not, in the otherwise case, else will be executed, you are not eligible to wait. Now, this is all under the try block. Now, we have a accept block where we are, you know, specifying we, where we are taking the appropriate ex action when the particular uh, exception will be generated. We have here accept block, accept age error as ex. So, again this is the alias name, alias name for age error. Age error is nothing but a exception and is it has been defined with a class. Here we are printing ex. So, ex will print whatever message we are giving to the age error. Now, again we will see this program running in the Google Colab. <coughs> So, this is the program we have, Python program to illustrate raising user generated exception in Python and we are creating class to create user generated exception. We, here we have to create, we have created a class right for the exception, for defining the exception. So, class age error, now here this, this uh, see this age error exception. That means, this age error is the user defined class which we are defining and it is inheriting the exception class. Exception is the main classes for exception 
and all other classes are the subclasses of this exception class. Here we have defined two methods init method and the str method. In the init method because self is the parameter in every function we are passing the second parameter is message. Here we are writing the message whatever message you want to throw on execution of this particular exception. So error message is your uh, variable. So whatever message you are passing it is going to the error message. In the string str method we are returning this error message nothing else. So wherever you want this message to be printed you have to call this str. Now we have a try block we have input input the age right here we have we are raising the age error exception age error and we have specified the string to be passed into the init method else if age is not 0 if it is greater than 18 we are writing that you are eligible to vote else you are not eligible to vote. Now this all is under the try block. So once you are raising this age error once this statement is executed if the age is less than 0 in that case the accept block after the try will be executed. So here we are accept age error we are specifying the type of exception we are you know dealing in this particular block age error ex as I have already told you this is the alias name given to the you know given to the uh, age error exception here we are printing ex the exception which we have specified right and if age if you are entering age which is greater than 0 then all this will be skipped and exception will be not be generated. Now let us see executing this program it is asking for the age 34 I have entered so this raise statement this if is you know skipped and we are into the else part you are eligible to wait this but what this particular statement is printed. Now again now see if we are entering minus 1 in this case we are entering the negative value. So the raise age error exception will be thrown by the if block and the accept block will print that exception. So whatever statement whatever message you want to print here you can pass here in the age error method. So this is all about exceptions we have understood in today's session we have understood what is error, what is exception, what is the difference between the error and the exception, how the exceptions are being you know drilled in the program and how do we raise the manual exception in our program. So that's it for today. Thank you so much.